Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Well, today we're making it count by eating international cuisine. We're making Peruvian chicken with a dipping sauce. Yes. Now, Peruvian cuisine is an explosion of flavor, mm -hmm. culture, and even history. A Peruvian cooking method is called Montano. And this is a popular cooking technique that involves layering ingredients such as garlic, onion, and peppers, yes. and then layering in meats. Oh, all those layers and layers of flavors and flavors. <laughs> you know, from the fresh ingredients and spices used to create traditional dishes, to the unique techniques used to craft signature flavors. Oh, there's something here for everyone, and I do mean everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely true. And Peruvian cuisine is often made with ahi peppers. Then <laughs> it's a basic ingredient actually. And Peruvian chili peppers, they're not spicy, but they're more so used to add color and a bit of flavor. Oh, all that flavor and color is just hey eye-popping, eye-popping there. <laughs> Today we're focusing on the benefits of chicken used in this dish. Let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Now we'll also want to clean our chicken of any excess fat to ensure our chicken reaches an internal temperature mm -hmm. of at least 165 degrees. We're going to use a food thermometer that looks like this. Chicken is a favorite of ours because it is high quality, complete protein, you know, helps strengthen those good old muscles and bones that we need. It also supports weight loss and it works with diets like paleo, keto, and Mediterranean. Yes, mom, and this recipe is going to give our chicken so much flavor. You're gonna to wanna to make it all the time and I'm gonna to wanna to eat it all the time. I'll take that. <laughs> we'll start by making our marinade for our chicken. Where we're going to marinate our chicken for 30 minutes, but it can be marinated even overnight mm -hmm. as well. We'll start by making our marinade by pureeing garlic, soy sauce, lime juice, oil, cumin, paprika, oregano, and a pinch of black pepper. Now we're gonna put our chicken into a large Ziploc bag. And we're gonna add our marinade from the blender and place it in our refrigerator. We'll remove our chicken from the marinade bag and place it in a roasting pan or a cast iron skillet. And we'll also remember to drizzle a little bit of water in there and that just helps uh, with the baking process. Yes. And we'll bake uncovered for 25 to 30 minutes or until the chicken reaches an internal temperature on our food thermometer mm -hmm. of at least 165 degrees. Yes, but while that's going on, we're gonna make our dipping sauce, which is my favorite part. <laughs> we're gonna combine our jalapeno, green onions, cilantro, garlic, mayo, Greek yogurt, lime juice, salt, and pepper. Oh, and then we're going to drizzle in our oil while those ingredients are in the blender though. We're gonna transfer our bowl over to the fridge and let it kind of chill before we serve it. We'll plate our chicken and pour our dipping sauce in a small dipping bowl and serve with sides like broccoli, carrots, or even asparagus. I'm drizzling my sauce all over everything. I'm not putting it on the side and I think you guys should drizzle it on everything too. Just my thought. Just my thought. These are different flavors and tastes that you and your family can enjoy and keep on the healthy eating track. I'll say, but don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for fun, unique, and very creative recipes. And when you try these at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House.